Hello, everyone. Kirk Summers, Trinity Presbyterian Church, York Mills, together with you on Remembrance Day 2020. Reading from Romans uh, chapter 14, verses 13 to 19. Let us therefore no longer pass judgment on one another, but resolve instead never to put a stumbling block or hindrance in the way of another. I know and am persuaded that in the Lord Jesus Christ that nothing is unclean in itself, but it is unclean for anyone who thinks it is unclean. If your brother or sister is being injured by what you eat, you are no longer walking in love. Do not let what you eat cause the ruin for one for whom Christ died. So do not let your good be spoken of as evil. For the kingdom of God is not food and drink, but righteousness and peace and joy in the Holy Spirit. The one who thus serves Christ is acceptable to God and has human approval. Let us then pursue what makes for peace and for mutual upbuilding. Let us then pursue what makes for peace and for mutual upbuilding. This day for us is a day to thank God for those who pursued peace, who went about even unto death, making peace, inspired by them, remembering them, giving thanks for them. May we, with our every word and way, be those who pursue peace. To say, to go in peace, therefore, to be, therefore, in the pursuit of peace, is for us to carry the presence of Jesus Christ into the world, into our world, and every corner of it to carry the presence of our Savior and our Lord and our friend, the one whose life and death and resurrection triumphed over sin and death and gave love and life to us. Therefore, to go in peace to pursue peace, to carry the presence of Christ into the world is to bring God's transforming touch where friendships are broken, where relationships are shattered, where injustice is rife and prejudice rules. Friends, in the strength and gentleness, in the power of Jesus, let all of us pursue peace. Let us work for peace, giving thanks always for those who did likewise, those who we remember today.
ever-living God. We remember those whom you have gathered from the storm of war into the peace of your presence. May that same peace calm our fears, bring justice to all peoples, and establish harmony among the nations. Through Jesus Christ, our Lord. Amen. They shall grow not old, as we that are left grow old. Age shall not weary them, nor the years condemn. At the going down of the sun, and in the morning, we will remember them. We will remember them.
Go now in peace. Never be afraid. God will go with you each hour of every day. Go now in faith, steadfast, strong, and true. No God will guide you in all you do. Go now in love and show you believe. Reach out to others for all the world to see. God will be there watching from above. Go now in peace, in faith, and in love. And now, may the love of God and the grace and peace of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ and the companionship of the Holy Spirit rest, remain, and abide with each one of you and all of God's people this day and even forevermore. Amen.